Salutations, my crustaceans. Welcome back to another mini tutorial build. The votes have it, guys. In this episode, we're making a stronghold. Let's go. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on making the miniatures of these four builds right here. First up, we have our mini portal room. We'll then go on to our mini library. We've also got one of the mini fountain junction rooms and we'll have the mini jail cells. But let's take a tour of the whole thing, shall we? Don't, uh, don't mind that. <laughs> so first we're gonna go ahead and head on down. This can be how you create your entrance to your stronghold. So this is one of our first rooms that I'm not gonna be covering. It's just one of the junction rooms where you can go underneath or you can go up and over. So it's really kind of pretty simple and I will let you just look at this and be able to build this on your own. Here this is what the library looks like in the actual build. It's pretty neat. We'll go ahead and head back down this way. We have one of the corridors which I'm not going to focus on because this is it. it it's a corridor. <laughs> Here we have the mini dungeon room in the build. We've got our mini fountain junction room right here. And then this is the miniature portal room in the build itself. I think this looks amazing and it just gives off end portal room vibes. So we're going to start off with the mini portal room. It's probably going to be one of the most popular and more likely to be built models. Okay, and for sake of ease, I am not going to be doing the mossy variants in here. I'll just create it all with the regular stone brick variants. And the items you'll need are the stone brick slab, stone bricks, iron bars, lava bucket, stone brick stairs, warped slab, polished blackstone pressure plate, and birch signs. Let's get started. So we're going to start by making the back wall here, and you're going to do that by going seven across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four tall. Now we're going to fill all of that in except for the middle block there, middle block there, and the middle block there. Everything else will get filled in. And it'll look like that. Then you're going to put your iron bars in the middle there. And then on either side of these walls, we're going to come out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we'll start working from front to back. We're going to create our first lava pit here. We're going to create our first lava pit right here. We're going to do that by placing a full block right here. We'll take our stone brick stairs, face it in this direction. And then you're essentially just going to make a loop around to where you're going to put the lava and put your lava in. Do the same thing on the other side. Then you'll fill in this middle two right here with slabs. Next, you'll place down a stone brick stairs. You'll do a full block right here and another stone brick on top. Next, we'll build the lava under the portal. You'll do that by placing a stone brick stairs facing in this direction. Don't worry, that will change. And then you'll just do the same thing you did for the other side. You will wrap these around so that it looks like this. Place your lava inside. Now the rest of this is just stone brick slabs like so. And finally for the portal, you'll take your warp slab, place it on top there. The polished blackstone pressure plate goes on top and then your birch signs go all the way around it to look like so. And if you're just doing a diorama and you want to put this on display, this is really all you need. But if you want to build the walls up, let me show you how to do that. So either side of these walls are going to be the exact same as the back over here. This one is going to be the one with the window. That one will not. This one will be one with the window. This one will not. And that's all you're going to do. So the rest of this can get filled in. Now copy that to the other side. And now you've got it looking like this. For the archway, all you're going to do is on that full block in front, you're just going to build all the way up and then build all the way across. And then we're going to take our iron bars and you're just going to go around the outside of that. And there you have it. That is the entire build for the portal room. Now, obviously you can go through and place on slabs on top like this. And as you can see, it is highly recommended that you do do the texturing with the mossy stone brick as this just does not have the same feel, doesn't have that same pop of color and that dinge that you see in the actual end portal room. That's the portal room done. Let's do the library. So first I will show you how to set it up as a diorama like this one. All you're going to need is your stone brick slabs, stone bricks, oak slabs, bookshelf, oak planks, oak trap door, lantern, torches, and some cobwebs. Let's get started. So the dimensions for this are the same. It is going to be seven across by seven wide. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that out even though we'll be changing some blocks. This very back wall, you can just go ahead and build it all the way up as stone bricks. And this is going to be six tall. Back wall built, let's go ahead and make one of the side walls. Essentially all you're gonna do is you're going to rotate pillars of bookshelves 
end of oak planks just going up like this along the outside of the wall. But the very last one will remain stone bricks. Next, we'll go ahead and put in the lower bookshelves. All you're gonna do is you're gonna find the back corner, go to diagonal one and do that. And then you're just gonna go every other one like so. And then you're gonna stack one more on top of each one of these four, just like so. And now we can fill the rest of the bottom in with slabs like this. Now you can either leave the diorama open like this, or you can build up a little more of a wall like I have shown back there. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll show it like that. Now I did make a mistake. This is actually gonna be stone brick up here. I did forget one item, you're gonna need ladders, and you're just gonna need the two in the back corner like this. And then we're gonna place our oak slabs for our balcony up top. So first we're gonna start off by creating this layer around the ladder. Then we're gonna bring it all the way to the front, bring it all the way to the side, and bring it out to the end of our diorama like so. For the actual build, you'll go around all the way like this, and I'll show you how to do that in game. But for now, we'll keep it like this. So next you're gonna put the railing on, and essentially all you're gonna do is you're gonna place the trap doors on so they face the outside. Skip this one for right now. And they will line up directly with that. Now for this one, you are gonna need a temporary block. Then you're gonna place the trap doors on the outside like so. Break that temporary block and put them up. That will help continue that railing all the way around. Lastly, to get that diorama look, we're gonna create the diagonal ceiling. Now the reason I like the diagonal ceiling even in the diorama look is that we are able to get the lantern in the very center right here hanging down. That's gonna represent the chandelier that hangs down in the actual build. Now you can slap some torches around down there too. So you can put two down there, maybe one on that side. And let's put some cobwebs in. Put one up there, put one right there, put one up there. You know, you can just slap them around just kind of however you want. It doesn't have to be perfect as there's no set place for them in the actual build. And with that guys, you have the diorama build complete. Now, if you want to put it in the actual world, let me show you how to do that. So we'll first start by completing this wall and then we're going to complete the roof up top. Now, all you're going to do, you're going to complete this balcony going around like so. And you're just going to do the same thing you did before, putting in your trap doors like this. Next, we're going to build the wall up one more thick over here and one more thick over here. I will then go ahead and fill in two like so. I'll extend the floor out like this. And then you can place in just your slabs right there. And there you have the entrance to the library. Pretty cool. That's the library. Let's show you how to make the fountain junction. This one's super simple. So again, this one is also going to be a seven by seven. So we're gonna go out seven, then we're gonna go back seven this way. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and keep a just full bottom layer on the bottom like this. When you go ahead and put it in the build, I think it looks better. If you don't wanna put this part in for your diorama piece, you don't have to. Oh, and real quick items you'll need, stone brick slabs, stone bricks, oak door, torch, andesite wall, iron trap door, iron bars, bucket of water. So first things first, we're gonna to come to the very center and we'll build up our wall two times. Then we'll take some stone bricks and we'll just go all the way around that wall like so. Then on top of those full blocks, you're gonna go ahead and place some iron trap doors. Now I know this doesn't look perfect, but it is needed to keep this water in. Then fill this whole area around it with slabs like so. And that's just gonna create the entire room. And the only thing you really have to build are going to be the doorways. Now these doorways don't have to be set in stone, but they do have to be built out of it. <laughs> So the very first one we're gonna make is gonna be, say, the entrance to a portal room. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna build that up like so. I'll go ahead and extend my slabs out like this. We'll create the same doorway that we did with the portal room diorama, and it's gonna look like that. Another doorway that you can make is a very, very, very simple one, which is just going to be a door. <laughs> so you're basically just gonna build up enough to place in a wooden door there and everything else is just going to be regular old wall. Now you can place a torch above those, and honestly, those are like the only two that you can really have. Uh, I guess you could have the library entrance, which is basically the same thing, except um, you'll build it up all the way, build it across, build it down, and instead of the iron bars, you'll just do some slabs right there to cover up the balcony. And that's really gonna just about do it for this one. So we've got the fountain junction room done. Let's move on to the miniature jail cell room. Now this is gonna be the first one that breaks off of that seven by seven pattern. This one is actually going to be eight by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna start off by building this hallway here first, and then we will do the jail cells behind it. So this whole thing is set up on a foundation just so that you can have the iron doors in. Once you have your foundation on, you can go ahead and build up a back wall. This entire thing is gonna be built up. Again, six tall. I'm gonna go ahead and make a pillar here just so that we know that this is going to be a wall section. And then we're gonna fill in a three wide section of stone brick slabs going all the way to the end, except for again, right here, this is a wall section and we can slap a torch right there just for some light. Next, we'll go ahead and make the pillars in between the jail cells. So you're gonna go at the very end, build that all the way up, skip one, build all the way up, skip one, build all the way up, skip one, build all the way up. At this very first one, you're gonna go ahead and place an iron door. Skip that one, place an iron door here. And this one is going to be iron bars, which you're gonna build up three high. You'll then come over top each one of the iron doors and place your iron bars. Then go ahead and fill in the stone bricks on top of them like so. Now we come to this side of the jail. In the middle here, we're gonna just come go ahead and come across the two because this is a wall section right here with our iron bars. Let's go ahead and we'll put the pillar of stone right here going across like that just to separate the jail cells. And then you're gonna fill in this with your slabs like so. Same thing on the other side, these six are going to get slabs. And let's go ahead for the sake of the diorama, fill in the rest of this as wall. So you have it looking like that. And then we'll fill in the top as well. Lastly, go ahead and place a stone button just so that you can open those doors. You can build this out a couple, we'll just say three more from what we already got. And then just do your little diagonal cut over. Filling in the roof up top like so. And there you have your diorama of the jail cell. Now, if you're going to put it in the actual build, it's really simple to do. You're just going to go ahead and finish this wall, finish the roof, and then right here in the center, you're going to place an oak door and then just build around it. And that's how you're going to get in to the jail cell room. All right, so we will take our junction room like so because I did make a doorway for each one of the builds that we had. So we'll start with the library, do the jail cell, then we'll end with the end portal room of placing them together. So you guys are going to actually build them. I am just going to copy for the sake of time. And what I'll do, if you're, if you are copying, stand in the doorway and copy, and then you're going to paste it standing in the same doorway here. And as you see this wall seamlessly connected with the library. And now I can go in from this little junction into the library. You'll do the same thing with the jail cell. I'll come into the doorway and I will build out my jail cell over here like so. See, now I can come into the jail cell from here and I can go back into the junction room and then all the way over to my library. The last thing we'll do is we'll come to our portal room over here and build out our portal room right here, just like this. So that way you can walk on into your portal room from your junction room like so. And then just from looking on the outside right here, this is already looking a lot better. Now you are gonna run into some issues if you build it exactly like I had it. See, so like I just copied and pasted it over. And so you are going to want to like encase the outside over here in this, that way you're blocking off those areas. And then from the outside too, into this still look like the stronghold. Same with like the bookshelf. So all of this would get a wall. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys were able to build these in your world and that this was a helpful tutorial for you. And if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe so you can know when I make more of these. Keep an eye out for my community posts as I'll be posting a poll of what you want to see next. Or you can go ahead and leave one in the comments. Maybe that'll inspire me for what I'm going to put in the community post for voting on. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, oh, bye bye for our balcony up top.